Okay, so I've had this is a 2009 iMac that I've had since 2009. It's now uh, the end of 2012. And I was very heavily uh, fragmented on the hard drive. It was running very slow. And so rather than spending $30 on defragging software, uh, one of the options that you have is if you create a backup using Time Machine, and then now this works if you have Mountain Lion because they have a, a restore mode built into, they create a hidden partition on the hard drive and allow you to do restore mode. So you'll know if you're able to do this. Basically what you do is first you create your backup, you make sure it's current and you do that on a uh, separate hard drive. Then when you launch your computer, you hold down Apple R, Command R, I guess they don't put Apple on the uh, keyboard anymore. And then it brings up uh, a window, gives you a bunch of different options. You can run a disk first aid utility, um, but then you can either do a clean install of your operating system or you can restore your um, operating, you can restore everything from your time machine backup, which is what's happening here. So. Essentially what it does is it erases the whole hard drive and then writes everything at the beginning of the hard drive, which you may or may not know. Um, think about it as maybe a runner's track. The, the hard disk or the disk drive, if it's the standard non-solid um, state drive, the data that is early written earlier on the hard drive runs faster than the data that's written later. So some people will um, only use half of their hard drive. Even though there's another half, they will only use half because it runs faster and they'll get another hard drive. I don't do that, but um, when it defrags it, it writes everything at the beginning of the hard drive. And so it will run faster from that regard and it's not fragmented, so it's not jumping every everywhere for files. So it will run a little bit faster, and this is how you do it. So thanks for watching. Okay, so here's the program. Well, it's done defragging or restoring, whichever way you want to look at it. And if I showed you before and after, I didn't think to do a video of this until after it was doing it. But this little band here all the way across is all the data on my hard drive. It's a 500 gig. And where it's white, jump over here, that is totally empty space. Now this used to look like dots everywhere, all over, tiny little files scattered everywhere. And that comes mostly from storing files and then adding more and then deleting older ones and it just fragments the whole hard drive. And so this map shows you here, you can see all the files to the left in that little info pane as I'm going through, it looks at different files. So Basically, that's the free way to do it. Um, just got to have to have the uh, Time Machine backup. Make sure it's a current backup. And also, uh, and you'll know once you hold Apple uh, or Command R when you restart, if it doesn't bring up that window, um, and it looks quite different from your typical uh, startup. You know, if, if it brings up your desktop, you either didn't push Command R at the right time or you didn't install the partition. And the partition actually doesn't show up even under uh, disk first aid. So it's very well hidden. But anyway, that's how to get around uh, paying for defragging software. It's built into the uh, Mountain Lion OS for free in a roundabout way. So thanks for watching. Please rate and comment.